Don't dive because it's shallow. Oh, I say don't dive. Okay. Yeah, don't dive. One of my favorite things to talk about when it comes to living in the Mountain Falls Luxury RV Park, especially spring, summer, fall, finding all the waterfalls. So Mountain Falls is located in Transylvania County in North Carolina, and I think there's 200 waterfalls within like 20 or 30 minute drive or miles just from where Mountain Falls sits. So when Mike and I first visited Mountain Falls back in 2012 and then bought a lot two days later, one of our big missions, find all the waterfalls that we could. So we would typically try to, once or twice a week, go find some of these amazing waterfalls, take them in and get out. But there is one that we always go to about four or five times a year, and that is Miller Falls. So that's the fall that you're gonna see in today's video. It's a private waterfall so it's probably not fair that I really share it though you might be able to sneak over there to be honest with you not a lot of people are there it is in the Burlingame Country Club and Burlingame POA neighborhood so you have to be either a resident of Burlingame POA or a member of Burlingame Country Club so I always take a lot of our friends that come and visit and family that come to visit over there because it takes about five minutes for us to drive to there's always ample parking it's a really short walk you can take the dogs you can take the kids you can swim in it you can fish in it you can take a big picnic to it it's really one of my favorite places to go and a lot of times I go there by myself and just sit and watch the water I've been there in the spring, the summer, and the fall, but I haven't done winter yet. We always take a picnic basket. I always take wine or beer. One of the things that's kind of fun is we put our bottles, our, our beer and our wine in the base of the waterfall so it stays cool while we're there. We always pick up our trash. We never leave trash. And we typically take cheese crackers, sandwiches, dips, and it's always a ton of fun. It's also a great place where you can fly fish, but you do have to get a license, uh, which is easy online from the state of North Carolina. It's catch and release. You don't keep the fish there. They do stock it. That is actually where Mike and I learned how to fly fish. In our very first trip, we each caught a fish each. So it's a lot of fun. As you can see in this video, it's great for pets. Uh, dogs and it's great for the kids. They love to swim in it. Of course, I keep telling them no diving and what do they do? They dive. I wouldn't recommend that. I also would not jump off of this waterfall because it can be pretty slick at times, but it's a great place to relax. Now, I also wanted to take the opportunity to talk to you a little bit about my two favorite books. So if you're going to come to the Lake Toxaway, Cashers, Brevard area, there are a ton of state parks. You've got the DuPont, you've got the Pisca, you've got the um, not Nahala. You, I mean, I could just go on and on. So I just picked up and picked up a new book this week. This one is just called Waterfalls of the Southern Appalachian and Great Smoky Mountains. It's by Brian A. Boyd, B-O-Y-D. This is the sixth edition of this book. It's really nice. I like the fact that it tells you the stream, like where the water's coming from. For example, one of the waterfalls that Mike and I took in when we first got here was called White Owl. It was with my sister and my brother-in-law, and it was one of those where you like park on the side of the road, you follow a fence line a little bit or some sort of mile marker, you start walking in and you hear the waterfall. That's the hunt. You hear the water and you just keep trying to get to it and follow the trail. But it tells you the stream, it's from the Thompson River. The rating is excellent. Uh, it's a cascade. That's the type. It's 20 feet. The slow flow, stream flow is medium. And it also has the landowner. So this one is the Nottenhalla National Forest. The trail length is only 0.2 mile one way. The difficulty is moderate and the elevation is 2,840 feet. So it basically tells you how to get there. It, yeah, you pull in the park, uh, the pool off the side of the road. You start hiking down and you'll eventually find it. So each section that they break out in this book has a nice map where you can actually see where all of the waterfalls are located to find out if it's something you want to do or not. Now, my favorite waterfall book, this has been since 2012. I've had this book since then. I absolutely love it. It's called Great Waterfalls of North Carolina. It's by Neil Reagan. 
And I'm telling you, this right here, if you like waterfalls and you're going to be in North Carolina, buy the book. It's $20 and so worth it. Look at this. Look how beautiful. I've actually done this one. Schoolhouse Falls in Panther Town. But look at the photos. Glossy, color. White Waterfalls is probably one of the more popular waterfalls, especially if you come here to visit. This is something you could take in in 30 minutes because it's really easy to park. Uh, it's really easy to walk to. It's well paved and it's majestic. It's actually the tallest waterfall east of the Mississippi. So this book kind of gives you a beauty. They marked this a 10 because it is probably one of the more grandiose waterfalls that we have in the area. And they kind of give you some little trail info as well. I told Mike that we really need to start doing is we really need to start going back to all of these waterfalls and finding the new ones. I'm going to take a few more in in this month of June. I'm going to do a few more in July and I will try to video these for you with my thoughts on how the trails are doing and if they're being kept cleared. And I promise I'm going to bring you more falls. If you have falls that you want to share and talk about, please make your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. We really uh, have been building some new subscriptions lately and it's making our day. It's getting us excited to bring you new content, new episodes every single week week. We really love talking with you guys because we all love RVing. Thanks for watching.